Welcome back, guys. Now, I'm a huge musical theater fan, nerd alert, so I was super excited when I heard that one of my favorite Broadway shows was coming to Los Angeles, In the Heights. It's a play that reflects the ups and downs of a colorful Latino community in New York, and the music is amazing. So I got to go behind the scenes to talk to the cast about what makes this play such a must-see. It's a story you'll only find on American Latino TV. I hope you like it. Brought to you by State Farm. For auto, home, life, and banking, get to a better state. Hey! Hey! What's this song? Daddy, I bet I'm singing on the street. Hey guys, so finally I am out of the studio and I'm here in Boyle Heights. Um, you might not know this from watching American Latino because I'm so cool and everything, not. But I am a theater nerd at heart, and I am currently obsessed with In the Heights. That um, is the West Coast premiere, and you're about to see for yourself. The cast is amazing, the director, everybody, and it's all started with Teatro Nuevos Horizontes. Check this out. Follow me. My name is Rigo Tejeda. I'm the director and founder of Teatro Nuevos Horizontes. TNH started with a group of friends wanting to get together and perform theater, specifically in Boyle Heights. It also kind of sounds good when you say, in the Heights is coming to Boyle Heights. But we really wanted to do something in our community, in our barrio, with our people. In the Heights is about family. It's about, it's, I'm a bodega owner. Basically, I'm the narrator of this whole production. I remember during the audition process, one of the questions that I asked them is, why, what would it mean to you to be part of In the Heights? And a lot of people, it was just something that they could relate to. You know, it's a very New York-centric show. It's about a very specific neighborhood in New York, but the, the characters in it, everyone who sees the show goes, that's my aunt, that's your uncle fulano de tal. Um, everyone knows somebody up on that stage. Everybody's got a job, everybody's got a dream. They gossip as I sit, my coffee is smirk. The first stop is people have to work, bust it. I'm like, one dollar, two dollars. There aren't a lot of Latino groups. We are providing that to our community. We want to be able to foster that talent and open it up to, to these people that are, are looking to showcase their talent. My character's name is Daniela. Um, I own a beautiful salon. I play Vanessa and I am a hairstylist in the show. Tell me something I don't know. One word to describe my experience probably be spicy. <laughs> the show does such an amazing job of representing three generations of Latino people. It's made me really focus on where I come from and that sense of home. This is the thing that I've been to a lot of theater in LA and no offense, um, but it's not always that great. So to come into this theater, um, Casa 0101, and see this caliber, these talented people um, in one room, Latinos, some not Latinos, but I mean, it's just the culture, the family, the community. I was blown away. It's a show about having that faith in everybody and finding where home really is. It was 